In this video you will learn such tool which is called Vid and it can help you make your development faster. As you can see here is an official website of Vid and here it is written that this is a front-end tooling and it was built by a guy who created Vue which is Evan Yu. So what Vid does it solves for us two different things. First of all, it creates for us a dev server and secondly, it bundles for us all our files for production. And here you for sure think, okay, it doesn't make any sense to bring a new tool because we have Webpack, Rollup and we don't need anything new because it will work in exactly the same way. But actually the main point is that Vid is faster. So the main question is how it is faster. The main point is that all these tools like Webpack are supporting all the browsers. And as you can see here inside can I use ECMAScript 6 modules are not supported in all the browsers. This is why Webpack must do a lot of stuff to bring support of these modules in all the browsers. This is exactly one of the points why our building time is so slow. For example, when we have a bigger project. And Vid leverages usage of imports directly from the browser, which actually means it just does less. So essentially inside Vid we are getting just normal imports inside browser. And browser itself requests every single dependency when we are doing import. So here Vid simply gives back these files as it is to the browser from the backend, when they are requested through HTTP. Also, Vid prebundles its dependencies by using ESBuild tool, which is written in Go. This is why it is much, much faster than just JavaScript tools. But enough talking, let's look how Vid is working. So we just need to jump inside the console and write here npm create Vid latest. And here we're using npm create, which essentially will use this template and call Vid command with the dot. And here I'm providing dot because I want to initialize Vid project inside my current repository. If you don't want to do that, you can simply write here, for example, Vid testing, and it will be the name of our project. So here I'm hitting enter and I'm getting some questions from Vid itself. And here, as you can see, we are getting current directory is not empty, remove existing files and continue. This is extremely good because we should not remove all files on our own if we already have some not needed files inside this directory. I'm hitting here yes and now we are selecting a framework. As you can see, Vid can create for us a project with vanilla JavaScript, view, and obviously this tool was created by creator of the view. This is why it is supporting view out of the box, but it is framework agnostic which means we can use it with other frameworks. This is why here we see React, and this is exactly what I'm using quite often, Preact, Lit, Svelte, but here is now Angular, which actually means if you're working with Angular, you can't use Vid, it is simply not possible yet. And it looks like it won't be possible in the future either. So here let's create a React application, so we won't use create React app, but Vid instead. And here directly we can specify that we want for example TypeScript. And this is really good because Vid out of the box supports TypeScript in a really good way. Now we can just run npm install to install all our dependencies and then start our project with npm run dev. And here is an important point when we are using for example create react app, the initial start is really slow and for small project it can take like 10 or 15 seconds. For the huge project it can easily take a minute. And now let's look how fast it is with Vid. So here just npm run dev to start a web server. And as you can see it was exactly like one second. And as you can see inside browser, this is our project and here we are getting Vid together with React and a small component which is already working. So here I can just click on the button and we change the state inside. Now let's look on our created project. So this is what we have. We have here our index.html in the root. We have source folder, public and node modules. Which actually means it is similar to create React app for example. And it is not that difficult to jump from create React app to Vid. Inside our index.html we have something different, because here we have our root for React project and our script is essentially using ECMAScript 6 modules. This is where here type is module and here is the file source main tsx. And you might ask now here how this thing is working at all, because essentially this is a ts file and we are serving it inside our index.html. 
And actually it will work with Vite because Vite is transpiling TypeScript to JavaScript on the fly. So now if we will jump inside our source and here we have our app TSX, we have just a normal React component which is written with TypeScript. Now let's have a look what we are getting inside DevTools. And here is how our network is looking when I'm reloading the page. As you can see here, we are getting lots of different chunks. For example, here we can see our app TS6 and then all imports that we are writing inside our app TS6, it will load directly inside our project. Now here is an interesting part. Do we have full page reload or hot module reload? This is why here we can simply change this h1 and for example remove here vid, we are just saving it and without page reload we are changing this word to react. And you might say here now, ok, but maybe it was full reload, but it was really fast. This is why here we will change the state to count 10 and then update this h1 tag. I'm just saving this file and here directly you can see our changes and it was hot mode reload just because our state is staying there. And the same goes with CSS, we can jump for example here inside app CSS and here on the bottom we have read the docs. We can simply change here color to the red and we can directly in browser see our hot mode reload. But now if you are writing TypeScript code there is one super important point. Vid is using inside this ES build tool and it doesn't make any type checking in the dev server. What does it mean? You are just getting type checking of TypeScript inside your editor, because your editor is running TypeScript server additionally to your project. Which actually means we can jump here inside aptx6 and here I can simply create a new interface, for example user. And here we are defining that user must have a name and it is a string. Now here inside of a function I want to create a user. This is why here I am saying ok this is a user of the interface user and this is an empty object. As you can see here my editor directly shows that property name is missing in type object. But when we are jumping inside console and here is the console of vid and web server we don't have any errors because vid is not checking our types and this is intended because vid is really super fast and they don't want to slow it down by type checking. And sure, when we are building our project for production, then it will check everything and it will take much longer. Let's check if it's really so. We can simply write here npm run build to build our files to production. And here we directly see our problem with the name inside our TypeScript interface. And the last question that you for sure have now, how does it work with node modules? Because we all know ECMAScript 6 modules are not working together with node modules at all. Because our browser does not know anything about node modules and how they are packed, it simply knows just this file and all imports which are related to this file. Which actually means if you have here one more component this is totally fine, but if you have such import, for example use state from react, it is not fine, it won't work by default inside browser with type module. And this is essentially what vid does inside, it checks all node modules dependencies and resolves them correctly. And they typically use vid as an alternative to create react app and it is much much faster to see your changes after every single save. And actually if you are interested to know what is React Query and how you can use this library, make sure to check this video also.